What's up guys, welcome to Lakes Garage. Today we're gonna be working on the M4, but I got a couple boxes from Keys Motorsports, so huge shout out to Keys Motorsports. Brian sent me over some stuff, and the main topic of today's video is going to be uh, this guy right here. This is gonna be a CSF intercooler that goes on the top. I already have a coil rad heat exchanger on the front of my car, so this is gonna be the top mount intercooler that is actually water cooled, which is really nice. Uh, but you know, the stock one is prone to leak. I've actually had mine leak once. It was replaced under factory warranty, but if you get a low coolant level light on your dash, uh, it's that expansion tank right up here in the back, but that goes low and that means pretty much guaranteed your OEM intercooler is uh, starting to leak. You don't want that. You could hydro lock your engine at worst. At best, it just kind of gives you a little bit of a quote unquote meth injection, I guess, uh, for a little bit you know, and a little bit of water cooling. Hopefully that's kind of all it does and just throws a code for you. But let's jump into these boxes. So Brian was kind enough to uh, send this stuff over for the time attack season. He's gonna be the main title sponsor, Keys Motorsports. You know, in order to get those times down and get going a little bit better, this should be a big upgrade for when it starts to get a little bit hotter out. Nice looking packaging. Oh yeah, CSF intercooler. Man, that thing is, that's heavy. So it's nice looking, it's gonna be a black one, which is what I wanted. Uh, I like to keep my car looking pretty OEM plus in the engine bay. Um, so black is kind of where I'm at to where it just looks a little less like modified, if you will. And this one is wrinkled black with a little bit of a gasket material here. You can see, you can see they have all the uh, connections, right? for all that stuff. So we do have some aftermarket charge pipes, which is good. This has a really thick aluminum barbed in on here to make sure, you know, we don't pop any hoses off for those for those little sections between the intercooler piping. Like they gave us some hardware. Torx key right here. So this won't be this video, but this is a little uh, surprise that Brian sent over to me as well. I'm not actually sure of everything that's in here, uh, but I have a feeling it's go fast stuff to make us quicker for this year's track season. So again, huge shout out to Keys Motorsports. I'll leave a link down in the description of all of these parts that we're gonna be putting on and these will be some upcoming videos. A bunch of Turner Motorsports arms. These little grills, which are great. These are gonna help uh, protect my front intercoolers. Um, something that I don't currently have, but yeah. These will go in there and be kind of like rock guards. These are uh, bushing. Diff bushings from Turner with the little offset. So this is something I do want to do in the future. That one, that one's gonna be, uh, I might have to drop the whole rear subframe. Not totally sure on that. But Brian sent over like all of the Turner's Motorsports arms. So these are all the adjustable control arms and everything. It's super sick with the instructions and all that. And these are just gonna be amazing. Uh, to get this suspension set up, just dialed, get all that deflection out. You got mono balls, you got himes, you know, everything that we need to, uh, to make it happen, right? Look at those, so pretty, very nice. Anodized blue, very similar to the SPL arms, uh, but this is Turner's version right here. And yeah, it's got little roller bearings. Oh yeah, this feels very nice. So. Future videos coming. Here is the stock intercooler right here. And this has a tendency of leaking, like I said, and this tank will actually get low. Uh, these seem to, I don't know, over time just kind of separate. And then the water, which is in here, you can actually feel yours on your car. It'll be cool to the touch usually um, because water is actually flowing through here and through here and through there. And then this is the overflow tank, so that's what that guy is. Um, right on down into your heat exchanger, which is up here in the front. That's mine. That says coil rad. If you guys are doing the full kit, you'll uh, probably get the CSF one as well. Both good options. Uh, both really good options for the F8X chassis. Uh, right here, we have our map sensor. Uh, right down here, we have the, I think they call this the J coupler, or basically feeding our intake manifold on our car. 
from our turbos. These are the intercooler pipings right here. I went ahead and took my little label off. That way my car just looks kind of more stock to any policia uh, that might be looking at my car. Um, so, you know, in my opinion, that black one will go very nicely in here and just kind of look pretty OEM, if you will, uh, which is kind of what I'm going for, even though I got like, you know, stuff that's not, right? Um, someday I do need to change up what I got going on for the intake system. I may even throw back my stock intakes. I almost feel like the car was faster with those. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pop these off. I think we'll start with popping off the intercooler piping right here. So I did actually find my FTP uh, J pipe right here, which matches my charge pipe piping right here um, that I have on those. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect those. We'll get this finally on. I actually was kind of waiting to do this one until I replaced the uh, intercooler on the top of the car. All right guys, so we're gonna do the Tommy L Garage special here, uh, where basically we take the inlet pipe, which is this one right here. We're gonna disconnect that, and we're gonna get right down on this tube and literally fill up this little jug right here with the existing coolant in here. And we're gonna do that by giving this thing a little blow, uh, a little bit of air, and it'll actually push all the fluid into this and uh, make it to where we don't leak all over the place when we take this out. Cut my jug open a little. What Tommy did in his video is he literally just uh, put his lips right down on here, but my car is leaking out just a tad bit. Uh, just a little bit of fluid. Um, I'm gonna actually see if I can't find a hose that's the same size, put it on there, and then do that little blowing procedure. This is perfect. I have this little piece of heater hose right here. I can literally just put this over the end. At this point, I'm wondering why is my coolant that color? Uh, this was actually replaced by the dealership. Doesn't even look like they put freaking BMW coolant in it. Looks like they just put distilled water. Sheesh. All right. So I think that is enough out of the cooler right there. We got our little hose. Now it's time to pop off the intercooler. Nice and clean on that one as well. So now I think we got pretty much everything off right there. Um, we should just be able to disconnect the map sensor right here. Pop that down and out of the way. I think we can just lift up. We're gonna be popping this out. And this should pop right out of the J pipe. Ah, just like that. Cool. Now all I gotta do is just transfer everything over to the new CSF one. Single use little piece down here. We're just gonna pop that off. And we literally just pull this little piece of plastic right out of it. So one time use with this. You know, it's looking a little greasy down here. I'm wondering if I had any sort of any sort of boost leak on that. That's the uh, that's the piece right there. And then boom, J pipe is out. I don't know if that's greased. Did they grease this up last time they put it on there? They must have. Now you can actually see the difference in the the look of both of these. You see that little area in the middle. The OE one's a little bit more restrictive, and this one just goes in its place. So we'll make sure these bungs are nice and tight, and then we'll uh, take this little clip out and clip it on down there. Just goes right down here you insert that little clip onto the j pipe now we can go ahead and reinstall this little guy right here that looks good um we'll make sure this wire is in the right way uh we do want to make sure that we don't lose our connection for the map sensor but right here 
popped in. Feels pretty solid. Just gotta get this on and tight. And uh, then we can actually pop these on. These are super easy. All right, so I lubed these up a little bit just to get this one on. It was a little bit of a pain. Just gotta tighten up these last two little clamps right here and we'll be good to go on that and we can fill it back up. This is all installed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the sequence for uh, filling up the coolant. What I'll do is top this off real quick with some OE BMW coolant and then we will uh, let it do the bleed procedure. So after doing the initiation, you can see water pumps trying to run. Uh, exactly six minutes after I did the uh, little initiation thing. So I'm gonna just keep that topped off and we'll be good to go on the bleeding process. We're all good on that bleeding procedure. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lights back on automatic. Um, that seemed to work out pretty good. Let's see, no low battery or anything, so that's nice. 